Hello, guys. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Yeah. I hey. can hear you. Hi, guys. How was, uh, how was your well-deserved vacation? Nice. Mine was it good? Nice. Yes, it was good. Where did you go? I went to Costa Sul. I, sorry, I tried to. You went to Costa Sul. So what? What? So that's. So I, I presume. Yeah, I presume that's a beach, oh. right? Yes. Nice, nice. Well, where is it at? In Sonsonate. Bueno, nearby Sonsonate. Is that your favorite beach? Yes. <laughs> yes. Why? Because I I I have a house there and and always I. I oh, there. you just have a house there, huh? Yes. <laughs> my father. My father. That's nice. I mean, if it's your father, you know, if it's your father's house, it's your house too. So <laughs> what what's his is yours, you know? All right. Well, anyways, glad to see you here. Alejandro, welcome. Luis, Janet, okay. I right, remember to turn on the cameras, guys. And uh, Alejandro, so what's up, Alejandro? How was your vacation? Where did you go? Hi, David. Um, well, actually, I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Just staying home and watch movies. Okay. Is is was that because you didn't want to spend money, or was that because you're more like a you know a home a, a yeah, home no, 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 a home man? <laughs> home <enjoy it. laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that's okay. All right. That's that's great. That's great. Well, uh, that's cool. You know. Um, I didn't want to go out too much because a lot of you know. Uh, police outside you know so a lot of policemen outside so they had you know some uh, uh they they were pulling cars over so yeah. so you know that's that's the thing right anyways what about you Luis? what how was your vacation uh, in my case it was a great in my vacation I stay here in my my house with my family and i had the opportunity to to visit uh volcano san salva Oh, nice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and Boqueron, right? Uh, mm, oh, that's a good one. It's a, a good climate. You know, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah. Be no, uh, <laughs> why do you say yeah? You don't even know what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, um, I was going to say that I'm kind of disappointed because I want to do motocross, you know, motocross. First off, okay, I don't know if I have to buy, like I have a motorcycle, right? And it's a, it's a all-terrain motorcycle. But um, the thing is that I, I think I need a, the, like, like, like a a motocross specifically, and that's a problem because I don't have one, right? So I don't know if you rent one. But I was watching some videos here, or you know, of people who who does motocross, and there is a problem, okay. I have no idea why the the tracks here, you know, the, the the motocross the motocross tracks are so awful. Like they're super flat, man. They're supposed to have like uh, these bumps, you know, where you can uh, jump, like like you can start like flying off from with your motorcycle, you know, doing motocross. But I didn't find anything here in El Salvador. So I, I watched some videos from Guatemala, you know, and they had a track, a very cool track, you know, for motocross. So I have no idea. Do, do you know anything like that here in El Salvador? Where, you know, you can practice motocross like that? No? No? Dude, I no. want to do that so badly. Only, tri only triciclo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was great, great. All right, Gabe. Well, anyways, welcome. Uh, Mirna, how are you? Mirna, Miguel. Nice to see you. How was your vacation, Myrna? Uh, well, it's fine. It's good. Uh, fun. Did you go to the beach? 
Yeah. <laughs> you live in you you live in the beach, right? <laughs> I, th I think that's where you live. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> But I love it. All right. Well, it's good, you know. I mean, if I had, you know, if I was if I were rich like you, I would do the same. So I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right anyways uh good to see you guys right thank you guys thank you for being early here i uh, hopefully you know we have more people joining in um jocelyn nice to see your name again uh jocelyn you took more vacation you know like a longer vacation than than everybody else i didn't see you the uh the last day before vacation how are you jocelyn i'm glad Hi. that you're alive <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> something, wow, what happened? No, I need to rest. And the, this week was a, a good for me. Oh, it wasn't good? You mean it wasn't or it was? Was, was. Oh, yes, it was okay. Oh, okay, well, that's good. Why? Why was it good? Because I can rest and got energy i don't know <laughs> okay because i was able to rest repeat i was able to rest okay i was able to rest okay all right that's you know same thing here uh i think it's it had it had been a long time since i didn't have any vacation you know so it's good anyways i'm glad that you're back uh what about you miguel how was your vacation hey hello teacher <clears throat> was well um i just rest on the friday because it is the vacation for law. Okay. And just went to the Ruta de las Flores, Apaneca. Oh, okay. Yes, and just spent with my family in Restaurante de las Nubes. Dude, that's so cool. What is yeah. Restaurante de las Nubes? It's uh, between Apaneca and Ataco. Oh, well, that's, a, I, I think, <clears throat> you know what, I think I've heard about that restaurant, although I'm not really sure. I mean, I have never gone there, but is it cool? Is it like, you know, can you actually feel the clouds? Uh, but that day uh, was raining, but the, the, the weather is very cold, and this is, the restaurant is very big, and it is, a lot of people, a lot of people is visiting, visiting that day. Nice, I love it, man. I love the cold weather. Um, yeah. I think you know that's. I if I, I would I would love it if it snowed here, you know, in El Salvador. I think that would be wonderful. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> no, it's not gonna. It's it's never gonna snow here. Unless you know, I yeah. don't know. So like maybe you know, like in. 100 years after all the global uh, warmth has taken effect, perhaps, you know, perhaps that's when we'll, we're going to see, you know, some sort of, of uh, change, right? But anyways, okay. All right, guys, so we're going to start today, guys. We are going to learn how to make suggestions, okay? All right. So how are you going to make suggestions politely? So that's what we're going to see today, guys, okay? Um, guys, uh, before we get started, uh, let me ask you something. Have you completed the platform? Or, or are you about to complete the platform? Did you finish the midterm and, and everything? No, not yet. Okay, but, but did you finish the midterm? Okay, have you done, you know, section three and then the midterm? Yes. Yes, uh, Lenny, you raised your hand. Sorry. Oh, you're in the in the final exam. Okay. Okay. All right. Awesome, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. So, uh, anyways, let's get started. All right. All right, guys, so let's talk about suggestions, okay? All right, guys, so first off, okay, um, let's do a quick warm-up, okay? So 
All right. So let's see what you know about suggestions. Okay. So guys, let's. Um, so, so I am unhappy. What can I do? Let's say you know. Let's pretend you know. I'm a I'm an unhappy person, right? So what can I do? What would you recommend me? I recommend you. Um. <laughs> Will you read? Your... Take a rest. Uh, alone. Take a rest. Alone. Okay. Yeah, like a trip. You can take your car and I don't know, row. And room room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can take <laughs> I'm sorry. You can take your car and drive away. Okay. Repeat drive away. Drive away. Drive. Drive away. Drive away. Thank you. Super. All right. Good job, right? I think that 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 actually. Uh, I'm. I was kidding. I mean, I, I'm just making an example, right? But <clears throat> actually, that makes me happy. You know, not with with my car though. Okay, I, I don't like cars are boring. Okay, I like riding motorcycles. <laughs> so okay, good suggestion. All right, uh, Miguel. What do you think, Miguel? So I'm sad. Okay, so I'm a I'm a sad person. I'm sad right now. What would be your suggestion? Suggest you will try to to go to the movie theater with someone. Okay, all right, all right, very good. Okay, so you said you could try or you should try. What do you say? I'm sorry. You should try. You should try to go out. You said right. To go out. Okay. 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 To you should try theater. to go out with someone to the movie theater. Okay, very good. What's up, guys? Let's go. All right, Jocelyn. All right, uh, so um, I don't know how to swim, okay? So what should I do? What is your suggestion? What can you recommend me? You can practice. The what? <laughs> you can practice. I can, okay, I can practice, okay, okay. You can practice, all right. That's another way of suggesting, right? You can practice, okay. I can practice what? Dancing? Um, class. No, take swimming lesson. Okay, I could practice swimming, okay? Or I could take swimming lessons, okay? Good job. Thank you, Janet. Okay, Luis, okay? Luis, I don't know how to, I don't know how to speak English. I don't know how to, how to improve my English. What should I do? Maybe, uh, do you try uh, uh, to talk uh, in front of the mirror in English. In front of the mirror. Mm -hmm. to okay. Talk along and improve your English or your pronunciation too. Okay. Hey, do you do that? Do you talk to yourself in front of the mirror? Without mirror. <laughs> Only <alone>. mirror. Repeat <laughs> mirror. mirror. Don't mirror. say mirror. 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 Okay. All right. All right. That's cool. Okay. Uh, Kalina. All right, Kalina, I do, oh, what am I doing? Okay, so Kalina, I do not know, okay, so I don't know how to socialize. Socialize? Yes. You can go to a, a social club. <laughs> I, could, I could go to a social club. <laughs> yes, and meet what? people. What wait, 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 wait. Does that exist? <laughs> yes. Isn't that called Facebook? Isn't Facebook the social club that you're talking about? You could go to the social club. All right, let's let me pull no, up my like, Facebook. Like, I don't know, a Deportivo. A, you can Tecleño. You can go to who goes to Club Tecleño? Right, let me ask who goes to Club Tecleño. You, you can download a Omi Omegle. 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 Yeah. You, you know, I, I once I tried to use Omegle, but it wouldn't work. So it wouldn't work at all. Like I, I was getting like, I don't know, my, the connection was not, it was not connected to anybody. Have you ever used that? Have you ever used Omegle? No? I don't know the Omegle. <laughs> okay, right. So, okay. So Kalina says, okay. So, so Kalina is suggesting me to go to, to Club Tecleño. 
I have no idea. Like, so you go to Club the Claim and you're, you're, you're like, hey, guys, I, I'm here to socialize. <laughs> oh, no, no. What? I don't think so. So. <laughs> so how do you do it? Okay, so, so all right, let, let's, let's keep talking about that. Okay, Alejandro. So once I reach Club the Claim, right? So how do I socialize? Okay, so how do I talk to people? How do I get to meet people? You should talk to people about um, your hobbies. Maybe you can find someone who have the same hobbies. Okay, so so then so so you're telling me I should I should come into Club de Cleño and say, for example, hey Jocelyn, you don't know me, but here are my hobbies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's I a like good it's a good I, okay. I, I like music, movies, you know, I like uh I like I like motorcycles, I like you know riding motorcycles. All right, so is that what I should do? What do you think? Is that a good suggestion? Um Lenny? Oh uh what do you think, Lenny? Lenny Portillo? Yes, teacher. So do you think that that's a good suggestion? You know. Just to you know, come in to Club de Cleño and, and just greet everybody saying, Hi, these are my hobbies. I like riding motorcycles, uh, reading books, you know, learning. Is that what I should do? Or is that is that um, something that I should not do? I think that is the way that to do. Okay, so that's okay. You think that's a good idea? All right, guys. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah. Plus, guys, okay, well done. Oh, we have one more, okay, Paco. What do you think, Paco? Do you think that these people are suggesting me good ideas? Well, good evening, everyone. I think that you should uh, join a friend of yours at the club, and he might introduce you with some other friend of him, and then you can start a, a socializing uh, conversation. I mean, I think that could be a good way for you to socialize with okay. so you're some telling other me, people. All right, so you're telling me I should I should bring a friend, okay? A friend, I the only people I know who go to Club de Cleño is, well, are nobody, okay? I have no idea who goes there, right? I mean, I've gone to Club de Cleño, right? But let's say, okay, so you're suggesting me to bring a friend. No, I, 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 I mean, you should join. A friend of yours who comes to Club de Cleño, that, okay. that could be a, a way for you to, to meet more people. So what you're suggesting is, I tell my friend, let's say my best friend's name is Rafa, right? I say, hey, Rafa, go to Club de Cleño. Wait for me there. <laughs> Wait for me there alone, right? I mean, I'll get there. Now you can pick him up in your motorcycle. Then you can get to the, uh, to the Club de Cleño. Okay. If don't invite you some place for, for a drink, then you will meet more people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <clears throat> very good. All right. Your suggestions are awful, guys. But thank you very much, okay? All right. They 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 were they were well meant, okay? Thank you. Okay, guys. So uh we're gonna learn about making suggestions, okay? You are okay, you have knowledge, guys. So I was asking you that well, I was asking you those questions <clears throat> because I wanted to Oh my God, I wanted to find out, you know, how much you knew about making suggestions and you guys are pretty good. Okay, so let's get down to um, business, guys. Okay, let's learn some vocabulary before. All right. So, so guys, to start with, all right, we have something called phrasal verbs. Who can tell me what a phrasal verb is, guys? It's a verb with a preposition. Nice, okay, it's a verb right, with a preposition. Okay, good job. Now, um, phrasal verbs, guys, are, you can call them composed verbs if you want, okay? Because they're made up of two or more words, okay? But they're, they work as one verb, okay? They, don't, they do not work as different actions. The combination of these two or more words work uh, works as, as one single uh, action, okay? All right, the combination, guys, of 
these two or three words works as a um, as a verb, a once a, a singular a singular verb. Okay. So um, so the rule behind them, guys. The, there's no there's really no rule behind it. Okay, uh, you have to learn them. Okay. So for example, guys, uh, I'll teach you one example here. Okay. If I say break, guys. Okay, let's let's break something. Tell me something that you have broken, Kalina. Thank you, right? Kalina has broken hearts, okay? <laughs> so, very good, guys. So, all right, so this is breaking something, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kalina, I couldn't hear anything. I think your microphone was not working. No, so. I didn't say anything. I, I don't know. What, oh, so I read, I, I just read your thoughts, okay? I just read your thoughts, and you were thinking about, you know, breaking people's hearts, right? So, anyways, guys, okay, this is the action of breaking something, right? You have, um, let's say that you have a glass of water and it is broken right and you have the missing piece right here okay let's make this a mug guys okay nice beer mug okay all right anyways all right so see guys this is the meaning of breaking something right but now guys okay this is break okay all right let's 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 make an example okay uh kalina i'm sorry kalina i'm gonna use you as my example today kalina um breaks breaks what guys kalina breaks what the mud very good okay hearts thank you all right kalina breaks hearts okay anyways all right so this is sentence guys okay and we're using the mean the the uh the verb break here but break means you know that something was united right and then it fell apart, you know, it broke into pieces, okay? So now let's take a look at this example, okay? So let's forget about how evil Kalina is for breaking people's hearts. All right, let's let's talk about let's talk about let's talk about let's talk about this, okay? Let's say all right, I need a volunteer, guys. Who wants to be my volunteer? Nobody? Um, Paco, thank you, Paco. Oh, okay. All right. Kalina, Kalina has broken. Wait, you have to wait for me to ask you what you need to do. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I haven't said anything yet. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, so let's use Paco as an example today. All right. So Paco. Okay. Now these guys is not the same as this. Okay. This one means one thing, okay? So what does it mean, okay? Okay, so, and, and this one right here, guys, this means another thing, right? So you notice, guys, this right here, guys, is a phrasal verb, all right? And this is just the verb, right? Hey, but why, you know, I mean, I'm using break, right? So so what? what's what's the difference here? So what am I, you know, what's, what's gonna be the big deal here? Um, when using, you know, break versus break up. All right, so Paco, okay, this is where you're going to try to give me a phrase, guys. Uh, Paco, give me a phrase using break up. Okay. Kalina has... Why are we talking about Kalina? Broke. There you go, guys. Huh? Okay. Kalina has broke up. Broken with up. Her bo broken up with her... Boyfriend. Okay, very good. I think she has a husband now. But all right, good job. Okay, this is a good yeah, example. I know she's married, but, but this is just an example. I know, man. I'm not kidding. But all right, very good, guys. So now check this out, guys. Okay, now this doesn't mean, guys, that she's breaking something. Okay, is she breaking her boyfriend? So if this was, you know, let's say that this was his, uh, her boyfriend. Okay, is she breaking her boyfriend? Is she like going like? like these right how can you break a boyfriend right right i don't know guys okay so this is like uh edward sister hands you know the niño mano de tijera if you remember that okay so here right so it, she's this is like okay so she's is she breaking someone guys is she actually breaking someone 
No, right? So the mean the change the 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 uh, the meaning changes, guys. Okay, this is what I want you to notice. Okay, when you form a uh, phrasal verb, the meaning changes completely. Most of the times, okay, most of the times, because you can say, for example, for, for example, guys, I will help you, and you can say, I will help out. Okay, I will help versus I will help out. This is a phrasal verb, but it actually means the same. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, is that clear, guys? Yes. Okay, very good. So now, uh, talking about these phrasal verbs, all right, when I say guys broken up with, came up with, okay, broken up with, okay, it's first example. First example is the one example that we just saw, okay. Uh, Kevin, right, second example. Uh, help me read, um, Zonia. Hello, Zonia, welcome. Number two, Zonia. Hello. Hi, Zonia. Help me read Kevin, the example number two, please. Okay. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. Reunion. Repeat reunion. 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 Okay. Okay. So when I say, guys, Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. Okay. Came up with. Okay. This is another phrase of our composed of how many on of, of how many words, guys? How many words do we have here? Three. We have three guys, okay, came up with, okay. You don't say came up, you would just say came up with, okay. Came up with. What is the meaning of came up with? Came up with guys, okay. I don't want to translate, but I'm going to do it just because of the time, okay. It's like saying ocurrió, okay. Se le ocurrió, all right, got it? All right, so, okay, so this is the meaning of came up with. All right, very good. Uh, number three, Janet, help me read, Janet. I am not looking forward to typing my essay. Essay, repeat essay. Essay, essay. Very good, I'm not Maybe looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Maybe I will get it done professionally. Okay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally, okay? Now, looking forward to, guys. What is the meaning of looking forward to? And notice, guys, that this, the whole phrase, guys, is working as a preposition, right? That's why after two, guys, you don't have the verb in, in infinitive. All right? You have a noun here, all right? You have a gerund. I'm looking forward to typing. I'm looking forward to, to seeing you, okay? So what is looking forward, guys? Notice that look, guys, look is like, like this, guys, okay? Look is like having two eyes, right? Hey, look right? And you're looking, okay? These are your eyes, right? Right? Anyways, okay, so this is looking, guys. Is, is this what I mean, guys? Look, looking forward to? Is this what it means? Yes or no? Am I looking at something when I say looking forward to? It's looking forward is like when you are wishing something. Very good, guys. Okay, so this is like saying, guys, expecting or wishing or hopping, okay? I'm not hopping, all right? This is like saying hopping, guys, or uh, wishing, okay? But you cannot say hopping, right? So this is like hope, guys, okay? Hopping. So I, in other words, guys, I'm saying I'm not, I'm not hoping to, you know, I'm not hoping to see you or I'm not hoping to... Uh, type my essay, okay? All right, so it's a synonym, guys. So it means totally something totally different, right? It doesn't mean like using your eyes at all. All right, number four, okay? Um, Joseline, help me read Joseline. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. All right, let's repeat, okay? Re read it again, but as, as I pronounce it. My doctor says I'm overweight. I my should doctor, cut down on fatty foods. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Cut, cut, repeat, cut. Cut. Very good, cut down on fatty foods, okay? All right, cut down on, okay? Am I cutting something, guys? I'm not gonna cut anything, right? Am I gonna cut my arm? No, right? Cut down on, guys, it means to reduce, okay? To reduce something, okay? 
it sounds very cool when you speak like this, guys. Okay, instead of reducing, right? Oh, you should reduce your your fatty foods. Okay, instead of saying this, guys, you should cut down on. You should you should cut down on your fatty foods. You should cut down on you know. You should cut down on um, seeing or having too many couples, right? You should cut down on what, guys? What do you think? What do you think, guys? I should cut down on. We should cut down on to use a on using using to use in plastic. No, no, no. We should cut down on using. Oh, using plastic, yeah. Okay, so. very good. I, I agree with that, okay? We should cut down on using plastic. Very good, All right? Uh, na, 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 na. Kalina, what is something that we should cut down on? We should cut uh, down eat uh, sugar. No, 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 no. We should cut down on, if you're going to use a verb, guys, all right, remember this. If you're gonna use a verb, this works as a preposition, right? You have to use a gerund, okay? Okay, you need to use a gerund, guys, if we're gonna talk about, yeah. if you're gonna use a gerund, uh, I mean a verb, okay? So we should, you should go down or we should, or I should go down or you should go down on gerund, okay? So Kalina, one more time, please. Okay, you should go uh, down on eating? Yes. Sugar. Okay, I should go down on eating sugar, right? Very good, good job, yeah. right? Very good. Thank you. Luis, help me read number five. Luis. Ro uh, can keep up with the student in his uh, Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. Very good. Rob can keep up with the students in, in his Mandarin class. He should, uh, he should get a tutor, right? Very good. Keep up with, guys. Do you remember this guy's keeping up with the Kardashians? Don't say no. Come on. You know what I'm talking about, Jocelyn. Nah, I'm kidding, Jocelyn. <laughs> I saw your face. We're like, all right. So, guys, okay, so the phrase keeping up with the Kardashians, okay, what, what is that, guys? Have you ever, did you ever wonder what that meant? Keeping up with the Kardashians. What is that? To continue. Read them. Read them. Stay mm. with. Okay. Well, who has an idea, guys? To continue. To continue. Mm. All right, keeping up, guys, is like standing, okay? It's like it's like when you say, you know, um, keep up with me. Like, you keep the pace, okay? You are you follow my rhythm, okay? It's like saying, you know, following the Kardashians, you know? Surviving with the Kardashians, if you want to put it like that, okay? All right, not exactly surviving, guys, but keeping up is like being able to resist, Okay, that is the meaning of keeping up with. Okay, so it says Rob can keep up with the students in. Uh, well, this this is different though. Uh, Rob can keep up with the students. Oh no, it's the same. Um, in his Mandarin class, he should get a tutor. Okay, so it means, guys, that Rob is unable to um, is unable to learn at the same pace the other students does. Uh, I mean, the other students do. So he, he's a little bit slow, got it? He's a little bit slow to learn. All right, if I am running, guys, okay, if I am running, okay, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, and you are behind me, it's because you cannot keep up with me because you are too fat, right? Maybe you are too fat, right? And I really, I run fast, and you cannot keep up with me because you get tired. Got it? Yes. It's like saying mantener el ritmo, guys. Okay, conmigo, okay? Estar a mi nivel. All right? Like, I'm running, guys, okay? I have no idea how to say this in Spanish, to be honest, guys. But if I'm running, si estoy corriendo, guys, y ustedes van atrás mío, y no puedes mantener mi ritmo, no puedes ir a la par mía, so you're not keeping up with me, okay? Keeping up means that you can't follow my rhythm. Got it? Puedes seguir mi ritmo. Got it? All right? So this is like saying, siguiendo el ritmo a las Kardashians, right? All right. Very good, guys. Which is a horrible translation, isn't it? Siguiendo el ritmo a las Kardashians. All right, very good. Anyways, all right. So uh, oh, I didn't want to move forward. Okay, so uh, next one, okay. Luis Molina, help me read number six. 
Okay, uh, I can put up with uh, the noise on my street. I have to move. Okay, guys, what is meaning of put up with? Miguel, what do you think, Miguel? What is it? Idea? No idea. Alejandro, what do you think, Alejandro? Um, the put up with um, uh, have doubts with that. Uh, I don't know. Guys, it's like saying, okay, all right, you have to learn this, okay? I can, I can stand, okay? I can stand the noise. Uh, I can't stand the noise in on my street, okay? It's no, it's so not support, like... guys. Support is ayudar, okay? No, it's no, like see. soportar. Yes, in Spanish it's like soportar. Yes, yes. Thank you, Google Translate. Yes, guys. So it is okay. It is to stand, right? You can't stand the noise. Okay, good job. Thank you. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Janet, help me read number seven. My girlfriend doesn't get along. Girlfriend, with not gear. Girlfriend, girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Okay, get along with guys. Get along with. What is the meaning of get along with? Uh, doing. Get along with is to have a good relationship. Okay, that is get along with someone. Okay. During the time. Including what? During time, long time. No, no, it does, this doesn't have anything to do with time. This is just being able to have a good relationship. I get along with you, see? I get along with everybody here, all right? It's like saying, me llevo bien, got it? All right, very good, guys. And last one, I, uh, Luis Molina, help me read number eight. Number eight, Will can take it off. His own finance, he has a account and manage his money. Okay, Bill can't take care of his own finances. He has an account and manage, he has an account and manage his money. Okay, take care of, okay, take care of guys is that, hey, you love someone, you love something, you need to take care of that. Or, or, or you know, of, uh, or, or that person, right? Got it? Very good guys, okay. So now we're gonna jump into learn, making suggestions, okay? So how can we make suggestions with uh, gerunds? Um, let's see, I don't know guys, who wants to help me read? Rafael, welcome back, Rafa. Um, uh, Lenin. Thank you, teacher. All right, thank you, uh, Rafa. Right, Lenin, right, help me read number one. How can we make suggestions with gerunds? Who, right. me? No, well, yes, you, uh, Rafael. Uh, what about looking through the personal ads? Okay, what about looking through the personal ads, okay? What about looking through the personal ads? All right, so this is how you make, okay? Uh, this is actually, guys, is this, is this a question, guys, or is this a suggestion? What do you mean? What, what do you think? It it's a suggestion. 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 Okay. What? Suggestion. Suggestion. Yes. But in a question, it's like, I don't know, you should try to do exercise. Exactly, guys. Okay. Uh, all right. Although this has, you know, some questions, some question marks. Okay. We're talking about a suggestion here. Okay. And the suggestion says, guys, all right, that you should, we could, we could change this to you should, you know, look through the personal ads, okay? We could say something like that, okay? Now, um, so let's, let's use this, okay? We're going to learn how to use this. So write this down, guys, okay? I need you to memorize this, okay? Because you're going to use that to give me suggestions, okay? All right, um, very good. Alejandro, all right? What about this one right here? Uh, have you thought about joining? Have you thought about joining? Repeat, have you thought about joining? Have you thought about joining? 
Okay, have you thought about joining us? Okay, right? Very good. So where is the gerund here, guys? Where do you see the gerund here? Joining. All right, joining. Right. What about in the first um, in the first suggestion? Looking. Looking, right? So, all right. So looking and joining, right? <clears throat> now with infinitives. Okay, how do we use it with infinitives? Um, let's see, Luis. Help me read the examples with infinitives. It might. It might. It might be. It it might might be a good idea to check out those discussion group at the bookstore. Very good. It might be a good idea to check out those discussions discussion groups at the bookstore. Okay. All right. It might be a good idea to check out, guys. Okay. To check out is the infinitive here. Check out, guys, is the phrasal verb, right? It might be a good idea to. It might be a good idea to learn how to swim, right? So I don't know how to swim, guys. It might be a good idea to learn how to swim. Hey, I don't know how to swim, Alejandro. What about looking through uh, through personal trainings, okay? So what about looking through uh, through training online? Hey, uh, I am fat. Have you thought about joining a gym, right? Have you thought about joining a gym? Have you thought about running? Have you thought about exercising? See? I'm, I'm, I'm still suggesting, guys, with, you know, the expressions that we got here. All right. Um, another example with a germ, okay? Um, Marina, help me read, Mar Marina. Where? One thing. Oh, yeah. All right. One thing you could do is to go. To go, not go. 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 Okay, One very thing good. you could do is it to go. To go. <laughs> to go. To go. Okay, right. So notice, guys, the infinitive here, right? To go. All right. So after the verb be, guys, you use, you know, an infinitive. Okay, we're going to see more examples about that soon, guys. Okay. Now, how do we make suggestions, okay, with models? All right. Let's take a look at the first example here. Uh, Kalina, help me read, Kalina. With models. Pardon me? Help me read. Oh, great. Um, maybe you could go to a, a chat room on the internet. Okay, maybe you should go to a chat room on the internet. All right. With so what, hold on, hold on. So what is the model here? No. Maybe you could go. Okay, could go, guys. Okay, could, guys, could is the model, right? And go is the verb, okay? Maybe you could, okay? Maybe you can, right? All right, very good. Um, Miguel, okay, with negative questions. Why don't you join a dating service? Why don't you join a dating service, okay? All right, why don't you? Why don't you? Everybody, why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you? Okay, very why good, guys. Okay. All right, so this is the structure, you? guys. This is the structure for making suggestions, okay? All right, how about, what about, have you thought about plus a gerund, okay? Make sure you guys take a screenshot or whatever, guys, because you are going to practice and I need you guys to know how to uh, make suggestions, okay? All right, good. Did you write it down? Did you take a screenshot? No, 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 yeah. Let me see. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. All right. So now next one. Okay. All right. We're going to get some practice, guys, but... Uh, also, guys, do me a favor. Take a screenshot of <clears throat> take a screenshot of, of uh, mm. these two guys, because I'm gonna. Oh, sorry. All right, uh, these two, please, because we're gonna you're gonna make suggestions with these two as well. Okay. All right. So, anyways, okay. So let's use you know how about what about have you thought about okay. 
So let's uh, let's make suggestions, guys. Okay. All right. So this is a practice. You know, this is a practice. How can I build self confidence? Okay. So if I asked you, okay, how can I build self confidence? Okay. Uh, what would be a suggestion that you can give me, guys? Using okay, using what we learned today. All right. What su suggestion would you give me? So how can I build uh, self confidence? All right, give me an example with how about, how about, how about, how about, who would like to give me an example with how about, guys? Uh, how about, I, how? Hmm? Yes, go ahead, Luis. Okay, maybe I suppose uh, you can how. How about uh, taking a course about uh, self-esteem? Very good. Okay, you can say, guys. Okay, right. Hey, did you come up with that answer or did you read that from the platform? <laughs> How about taking a course, uh, okay, of self-esteem? Okay, okay, how about taking a course of self-esteem? Okay, question mark, okay? Good job, okay? Um, I could also say, let's use a model, okay? What what would be the suggestion with a model, Alejandro? Um, your model, maybe you could go uh, to, uh, to the clinic. <laughs> Maybe you should go to a club, okay? <laughs> All right. Why? <laughs> All right. Enough about club the cleaner, guys. Come on, right? Very good, guys. So, anyways, okay. So, what you're going to do, guys, is that I want you to use this structure, guys, the structure that we learned here, to give suggestions on this question. So, either using how about, what about, have you thought about, or you can use models, right? You should go to blah, 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 okay? Got it, guys? Is it clear what we're gonna do? Yes? All right then, okay, so let's get started, guys. Uh, um, all right, guys, so. All right, so let's join, guys. <laughs> Hel Hello, Rafa. How are you, man? Hello, Hello teacher. How was your vacation, Rafa? Uh, very fun. Very fun? Why? Well, where did you go? Uh... I I went to the mountain. Uh, oh, nice. To the beach. Oh, really? Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, very good. I'm going to get you together with somebody else because I have no idea what happened to your partner. All right. <laughs> Hold on. David, the suggestions have to be about uh, anything? Yeah, um, yes, anything, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Everything good, guys? good yeah i i did i don't i don't have the question i forgot take a screenshot beautiful <laughs> <laughs> teacher don't be sarcastic hey give me a suggestion for not being sarcastic <laughs> <laughs> hey that's a good example right yeah so instead of saying don't, right? Well, how could you say that, you know, with 
like suggest how about not being sarcastic, right? So that's what you should say. Oh, I I have it. <laughs> oh, you have it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah. So how can I build self confidence, uh, Luis? Okay. Um. Maybe. Uh, what about? Uh. Okay. Um. Uh, what about uh, writing about um, yourself? Uh, I don't know how to say a, a, a personal trading for your self esteem. Self esteem. Hello. Hello, Luis Miguel. Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, I hear you. Are you there, Miguel? Sure, with yes. the connections. Okay. The first question says, uh, yes. okay. maybe. Maybe or, you do go to uh, see your friends. Or uh, you, could, you, you could uh, play your favorite sport, for example. That's or you true. could practice your favorite sports. Yes. Or join uh, to a group. Uh, uh -huh. oh, you, uh -huh. with your family, for example. Number three. Number three, how, how can, I can I lose? Lose weight. Uh, mm -hmm. How about if you join a gym? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. uh, you could do you exercise or go to ride, go to a ride, or, or eat less about running every day. Uh huh. Or I can eat less. Eat less. Uh -huh. <laughs> the fasting. <laughs> yes, that's a great uh -huh. idea. <laughs> yes, maybe you could eat it less. Okay, number four. What, what can I do to save money? To save money. Um. Mm -hmm. In. What? In Spanish, I. Lo gasto hormiga. Quisiera decirlo en inglés, pero no sé cómo se dice. Que, what are you trying maybe, to say? No Spanish. Why? Maybe you could. Maybe you could. Que no ha. Que, Reducir los gastos hormigas, pero no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. What? I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> First of all, okay, right. How about you reduce your... Remember, what is the phrase that we use? What is the phrase of verb that we use for reducing? Get, take, no, eh, put up. Put up, put no, up. it's not put up, it's cut down on. Get a get along with cut cut down on that's what the one we use cut down on ah, uh -huh. cut down. so how about you no what can i do to save money uh i can put i can cut down on uh-huh your gastos hormigas the what? Let me see. 
los gastos hormigas son en finanzas. ¿Cuáles cuando es, cuál es gastos hormigas? Esos, esos gastos pequeños que uno no ve, que el mango en la calle, que el no sé qué, esos gastos hormigas. Oh, que vas okay. al dólar y te metes y compras mucho. No Spanish, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking so about. I can, I can explain the gasto hormiga in, in, in English. And I don't know, you have to be able to. When you to. spend money, at, when you spend. And, and, and expenses. Okay. 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 So I and don't know, fees, expenses. I don't know. I have no idea what, what that is. It not, like, I have never heard gastos hormigas. That's crazy. Okay. Just <laughs> put down on your. On mm -hmm. your expenses, okay? Just uh -huh. on necessary uh -huh. expenses, perhaps? Ne 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 necessary expenses. Okay. Necessary expenses. Thank you, thank you, uh -huh. right? Thank you. Expenses. Then. Hey, guys, learn, <laughs> learn the phrasal verbs, okay? All right. Learning what is the meaning of um like hey what is what is the, the the phrasal verb that we use for you know to talk about reducing? So what do we use for reducing? We use cut down on cut um, cut down on cut right? down on okay cut down on okay very good guys very good so uh, I learned new vocabulary in Spanish today guys thanks to Kalina all right thank you Kalina for sponsoring today's Spanish. Do you know what sponsoring is, guys? <laughs> sponsoring, sponsoring is like, for example, when 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 you have Pepsi, you know, paying for for your commercial. I mean, for paying for for your news or whatever, you know, paying for your video. When for let's say that you record a YouTube video and then Coca Cola decides to pay me, you know, uh, for making my video, they are sponsoring me. I right? do you understand now? Okay, so Kalina sponsored our Spanish today because she taught me a new word in Spanish, which is gastos hormigas. So thank you very much, Kalina. I still don't have any idea what that is, guys. <laughs> it's the first time I hear that. <laughs> All right. It's, you know, phrases from millennials, right? Anyways, guys, so guys, um, I do have another class in common, guys. Do you have a question? Are we good? I need to practice so, more. Yes, yes. Yeah. Guys, you know, you should get together, you know, uh, like whenever you uh -huh. have time, say, you know, hey, do you want to practice, you know, you know, mm -hmm. you have a WhatsApp group, right? So you could get together from your own time, you know, and just just get some practice from time to time. I, I think that would okay. be want to learn how to speak, you know, that would be a great idea. Also, guys, I'll let you know if, if we'll finish, guys. Okay, um, I will let you know if we'll finish.